Hey, what is going on guys? I'm using the Logitech C920 right now and we are going to be filming my camera and how to set up the Canon N50 as a sort of webcam so you can get that premium DSLR quality kind of footage for OBS. Um, or so right now, as you can see, I'm just using a webcam. It's not the best quality. We don't have any depth of field. We don't really have the best lighting and color and detail. So today we're gonna show you how to set up that Canon M50 mirrorless 24 megapixel camera uh, to be working in OBS. So guys, let's go ahead and try to make the best of this. I tried to record this. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh, okay. So I tried to record this on my iPhone, but you know how iPhones are, guys. They're not the most reliable kind of recording uh, device. Uh, you know, what happened is some, sometimes a video gets choppy and then it doesn't end up recording as well as you want it to. Uh, this is kind of creepy looking, isn't it? So we just moved that into focus there. So <laughs> this is the Canon M50. And what you're gonna need to do first off, guys, first off, what you're gonna need to do is set up that micro HDMI cord into the Canon M50. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. So here we have that cord. It's going in right here. You can see that, guys. This is a micro HDMI cord. This is what it looks like. Can you see it? There. There it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yes. All right, so once you do that, guys, plug that in. Next thing you're going to do, guys. Oh, God. So you see this blue thing right here? This thing right here? This is called a cam link. So the Elgato cam link is what... Hey, buddy. The Elgato cam link is what you're going to be wanting to use. This bad boy can output 4K footage. And this Elgato cam link is the secret now it is expensive it's $130 which kind of sucks but this thing works well um, you know there is a slight delay with 4k but you can fix that by delaying your audio slightly look on the channel for a video about that where I already discussed on how to fix that so you're gonna get that micro HDMI cable plug it into this bad boy and go ahead and plug it into the computer once you do that once you plug it in we're gonna show you what to do now because your camera should be working once you download the Elgato 4K CamLink utility from their website. Let's get rid of this shitty C920 and show you some DSLR quality, mirrorless camera quality footage. Ah. Alright guys, so once you get the camera set up, um, you're going to want to download a 4K capture utility from Elgato's website. I'll put the link down in the description down below. You're gonna go ahead and install that, and once you connect your camera properly, turn it on and go to the video section. You should be at the step that I am right now. Video is showing up on your computer. Now, as you'll notice, there's actually a square box on my head, and this is kind of like the focus ring, um, just showing you, you know, what it looks like. And you can't really get rid of this, uh, I don't think, um, at least from what I've done. Um, even by pushing like info, let's see here, by pushing info, you can see other things. But even, you know, going into the settings, there isn't a way to get rid of that focus box. So you might be wondering, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't want this box in my video. Well, I'll show you how to do that right now. So basically what you're going to have to do, guys, is go into the menu. And you want to gonna go to um, this section right here with four. And you're going to want to turn uh, autofocus to manual focus. I was going to go ahead and disable this part as well. I would also recommend turning off Movie Servo AF. You don't really want your camera, you know, refocusing while you're filming because it could make it look a little weird. So the problem with manual focus is that you are going to have to kind of adjust the focus with the ring with your lens. Um, but this is going to solve that problem of having that box on your face, which is very annoying. It kind of ruins the whole point of it. So now that we have manual focus, you can see that there is no box. And as you can see, I'm um, adjusting the focus. I'm adjusting the focus um, with a ring. So you're just gonna have to reach your arm out. Hopefully you're pretty close to it and adjust it like that. That looks pretty good. 
So that is the way to get rid of that box and you're gonna use manual focus, but works pretty well, right? It looks pretty sharp and good and not too tricky to use. But anyways, guys, that's about it in terms of using the 4K capture utility. So you might be wondering, well, how do I get this into OBS? Well, I'll show you how to do that right now. So here we have OBS. It looks a little funny, right? Because it's kind of has this, you know, inception effect. It just keeps going down and down. Um, but anyways, I just want you to focus around this section right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a video capture device. Um, we can show you adding it right here. You're going to add. You're going to want to close down that capture utility first, though. Um, so you're going to... Um, you're going to go to add and then you're going to do a uh, video capture device and from here you're going to actually uh, do create new and you're going to want to pick the cam link 4k once you do that um, we can show you what that looks like go to turn that off and go ahead and turn on the video capture so and there it is so this is what the the camera looks like in obs um, pretty much the same as 4K Capture Utility, but of course you have more control with how you can put video on there and, you know, stream and whatever you want to do in OBS that you want to do. Anyways, guys, I hope, I hope you liked this uh, video about the Canon N50, how to get connected to uh, OBS, and how to use the Elgato 4K Cam Link. Now, there's also one thing I do want to mention if you're using 4K is that you're going to have a slight audio delay. Go ahead and check out the video on the channel where I talk about how to fix that delay if you want to learn more about that. Anyways, guys, I'll see you again on the next video.